I love it. Gorged and swollen. I love it when they let a little peek out the side of the speedos. Just, you know. Hello! Hint of fuzz on that little fucking. It looks Kiwi sunburned. Fruit. I knew a roofer. That's not a good place to get sunburned yeah, on. Yeah, I knew like a, a guy who was like a sort of general hand. He'd, he'd been an apprentice for loads of different trades. Yeah. So he could just go to a work site and go, I would like to do work and just get it. And like, I've, I would watch the <laughs> cunt just walk up with tools and shit and he could get like fucking site work and stuff. Um, like you need like some kind of union membership, but aside from that, you just, you know, you can be an idiot. Cool. Um, you can also do loads of sketchy work, which you do. Mm. One of them was like, and you know, like the fucking traders in Australia wear the gayest short shorts you have ever seen. They are tiny. But yeah, like Think these... of if you ever need to boost juice, see the girls wearing those shorts. Shorter than that. They're shorter. <laughs> you know, the pants where you can see the girl's bum, like, and actually like the cheek kind of hanging out, they're like that fucking short. Like they threaten to let me see the tip of flaccid dick, it's which is not okay. Like, yeah. So, fucking traders in Australia wear these, and they're called stubbies, and nine times out of ten you'll see tradies wearing these if they're just on a fucking site. The tenth time you'll never see them wear these, and this is something Lachlan didn't know. Because, see, when you're doing roofing in Australia, you're going to be dealing with, you know, a few kinds of different roofings, mm. which is like the clay tiles. That's fine. No one gives a shit about clay tiles. You, gotta, you put your tiles down, you leave, you fucking, you know, smash some skag at a bar later, and that's, that's your day as a tradie. Corrugated steel, on the other hand, is a highly reflective surface. Oh. So if you're out in the sun with your hat and your sunscreen on, the last place you remember to put sunscreen is your taint. It will literally, <laughs> like a fucking stripper mirror, blast <laughs> UV up into your goddamn asshole. Yeah. And I... Cause he was a friend's girlfriend's brother who lived with the friend. Mm. So like we just, you know, we just kind of hang out, hung out all the time. And one time, without explanation... He's just waddling around like he's got something like sandpapery stuck in his butthole. <laughs> and not, you know, you'll give it a minute for someone to mention that themselves. Because mm. you don't want to ask what's stuck in someone's no. butthole. But like, you know, there was like, there was like a solid 30 seconds of him not explaining why he's doing this. I'm uh. like, no, you don't get to just wander around like, just, uh, 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 like, and not sort of tell me. And it's like, yeah, just... He shows, like, pulls, hitches the fucking stubbies that he's still wearing up, because he can't put any, you have to, like, take the fucking shit off and put, like, aloe vera, yeah. like, smear all on there. And, like, he was holding ball sack out of the way, and you could just, it was just, it was just clear through. Like, it, it, it did, you know, because you sort of squat, so you're hitched up and you're kind of like this, so it's hanging open, so it's getting up around corners that you wouldn't really expect the goddamn light to get to. So just... <laughs> The presence of testicles is just horrible. Burnt yeah, like fucking like up, like as deep into the fucking groin as uh, as you can get is where the sunlight got. Okay. And this is why I don't usually go to the beach. Yeah. But, you know, this is a nice beach because yeah, it's air conditioned. That's, that's, that's nice. So we're on the beach today because things are changing. That's right. We're on a beach. We're a beach podcast now. All about that beach. Yeah. Beach wood. Beach wood is my favorite type of wood. Crocs are in season. <laughs> Croc Martins. Croc Martins. <laughs> Those can't be real. No, I don't think they Those... are. Like... I've seen pictures, but the internet's funny with pictures. Sometimes they're not what they Fooled seem. Fooled me once before. Yeah. So, we're on a beach because things are changing. We want to talk today about the direction of the channel and things and what's going to happen. Um, a big part of this is a lot of you guys are asking for certain sort of content. Like, oh, why don't you do more of this video? Why don't you do more of this? It comes down to, at the moment, time. I work a full-time job and a child. I have a child, that's right. And, and a full-time we get dad. <laughs> we get like 3 3 yeah. hours a week to do recording time. It's yeah. it's not much, so we try to squeeze as much as possible. We try to jump around games a lot to keep it fresh it's and exciting. Also, I'll see like I'm like I, there are times where I'm clearly tired and deranged. Yeah. And it's because we've been literally like just sitting in this room unmoved for like you know, I think the last the last long record we did was last Friday and that was like six seven hours just out of stretch just it was a long get, like, it was a long time uh, by the end of it like i go through a bit where i'm tired and then i get like fucking angry at myself for being tired and rile myself up but there's like you know the captain's asleep so there's just yeah. like a bunch of fucking red shirts running around touching buttons that they don't understand that's a fucking madhouse sometimes so things have got to change and as well uh with my health things are the best for those who don't know when i was younger when i was in grade 10 i had spinal surgery for a prolapsed spinal. Yeah, I pretty much, prolapse. you know, <laughs> just a prolapse. I had, that's where Killer Instinct got spinal from. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. just extracted him from my spine, 
and he, they just yeah. Your vertebrae. So I had prolapsed disc on two. I can't get prolapsed. It was a double prolapsed disc. So basically, in my lower category five of my back, my discs had bulged, it swollen, and pushed out. How does that happen? Causing like, sciatica. Injury no, that's that's the thing. It's just it just happens to some people when they grow. It's just you know I grew very tall very quickly and mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. stretch and things like that. So what that did was cause a sciatica, which means I couldn't walk. I had so much pain up my leg and my back that I couldn't walk. I couldn't function. I had to have surgery, which it were dissected me to cut those pieces out so I could do again. The nerves went down. Um, over the years, that has come back. You should just develop a painkiller addiction. Oh, like opiated Aaron would be kind of fun. Like you know, you could be like kind of ditzy, like an Oprah mum. You know, just like. <laughs> So that's come back. I've seen like a specialist who have recommended I get a disc fusion. Now what that means is they... Because basically it's worn down... Yeah, my discs fuse like that. It's worn down to a point where, you know, it's just rubbing. It's it's pain. I'm getting it's back like Terry to Funk's the... Terry Funk's knees in there. Yeah, I'm getting back to the pain level back to when I couldn't walk. It's getting quite severe. Um, work isn't helping with that. It's getting... If you have to be in a wheelchair, I am shaving your head. I am all for that. I will Professor X that yeah, motherfucker. That's, so that's yeah, the surgery is an option, but I have to lose a lot of weight first to do that. And even then, it's only a 55% chance it will yeah. work. So Unfortunately, in Australia, surgery is limited for people with thin privilege. Exactly. We just don't perform it on the fatties because Australia is a bit We don't get that. that. We just... No. Uh, uh, uh. So that's a, that's a big push for us to do something more like this as well, uh, a bit more sort of full-time basis. And that's what we're going to talk about today. For those who don't know, we do have a Patreon set up. And it is funny how many people don't know that. It has been... <laughs> just... The support from our fans has been nothing short of amazing. And there's, there's, weird, there's people know? on there who, you know, pledge 10 to $50 a month. We don't want that. We don't, we don't want you guys throwing money at us. That's not... We're nearly up to 5,000 subscribers now. So what we're asking and what we'd love is if... Give us a dollar. Teach like, you some Australian. Hello? Pronounced like this. Oi can't got two dollars. So this is we actually have a Patreon site and there's two there's two tiers. One's Oi got a dollar and it's a dollar <laughs> a dollar a month. Or that's Oi, shit cunt tier. Oi cunt got two dollar. And that's mad cunt tier. So what this will do for you is if you don't know, we also have a website set up, keepitclassy.com. And if you're a Patreon member, you actually get early access to all the videos for the week. They'll get all uploaded on Monday. If you want to watch them all f- for the week, go it, binge it. Gabe's writing, going to be writing stuff yeah, on there. Yeah, actually, getting back into his the swing of things. Yeah, reg- actual actual regular articles, and you can pester me for like patrons can pester me for um, article topics too. That actually mm. helps because otherwise I have to think about it, and then I wind up just fucking researching something for my amusement mm. for weeks on end. So basically, the plan is there's nearly five thousand of you guys. If all of you just pledge a dollar a month. We will be able to do this completely full time. What does that mean? What well, means? What does that mean? Videos, like uh, two videos a rub day. Down face. Two videos a day, every day, every day of the week. Much like Game Grumps, the uh, shows like that. We'll pay to get Brenton back from the Indonesian pirates that took him, because they lowered it to a thousand dollars, and I feel a bit bad that we haven't been able to rustle that up. And also, if you're if you're a current patron on the top tier, those tiers are currently being retired. What that means is they'll be like baseball. They will numbers. still be attached to your account, but they won't show. New people can't sign up to them because you guys are champs. And this week, Gabe and I have done some things. We 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 made some. We got some autographed photos, and you know we wrote some notes and stuff. They're going to be coming your way. Some stickers, um, a few other little some things. stickers and things. Some I'm of actually our, working on a better T-shirt design. Some of our long-term, um, very long-term patrons are going to get some very nice things in the mail from us, just to say thank you for supporting us and you know helping. And for all of you who are late, get fucked. No, but we will bring shirts and different prices. There'll be stuff. yeah, there'll, there'll be, be things, but they things. won't be purchasable. Yeah. they'll just be little treats because this isn't. You know, like, you pay for things that have value. Two dollars is a, is a trickle. Like, I'd give to someone two dollars if they wanted it. And that, that I don't mind. But I'm not about to sit here and say that anything's worth 50 bucks a fucking No, day. no, definitely not. And that's as well t- t- in line with our philosophy on content creation and how you guys receive it. We don't do ads on YouTube. You don't need to run ad blocker on our websites because there is no ads. Yeah. We don't bombard you with that stuff. We don't 
do that stuff. We want you... Because, I mean, we hate it ourselves. We run ad blockers. We hate those sorts of things. We so many ad blockers. We'd rather you go, here's a dollar or two dollars a month instead of trying to, you know, make five dollars off a a 50,000 view Mm. YouTube video from ads because they're just shit. No one wants that. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a, like, I think as people have, you know, as the internet's developed, we've gone through phases because in the old days, you used to just have to sit through ads and Mm. that was it. Um, directly supporting anybody who made something which was borderline impossible. Now it's a lot easier. I think now, like, especially because people, you know, had the attitude in the old days that people would steal shit if they fucking could and just mm. would never pay. And I really think the internet's not, you know, proven that to be untrue. Exactly. Um, and I think, like, small, really small scale uh, subscription models are good, you know? Like, you pay a little more for something like Netflix, but you get shit loads of TV shows. Yeah. That. You get, like, a lot less here, but, you know, it's also, like, just but this is basically dollars. helping us live and eat and, you know... <laughs> it's gonna be... Yeah, like, at Just the moment, I get, like, you. an extra, like, 50... Yeah, well, that's... There's, like, beyond the writing, there's a few other things that we're working on, too, but that take a little bit more time, and... But they'll um, be worth it. Yeah, unlike, also, the rest of the goddamn internet, I'm not gonna be one of those mongs who fucking, you know, prints up all the goddamn promotional material, screams about how awesome it's gonna be, realizes that it's actually hard work, and then stops... Mm. Cause I fucking hate that. Like, it's one of my one of my big things is just get something done. It's okay if it's bad because it can evolve. And there there is big things coming. The things beyond just the gaming. We can't talk about it because nothing's <sighs> done yet. But Gabe started working on it, and trust me, it's the, a, the, a little, the, the, the one thing he mind. showed me had me laughing for about half an hour. This was a single thing, no even spoken words. Just showed me an object he'd been working on for this project, and just said, "Come on, oh, I got to show you this." I walked in. And he's like, just over there. And I just walk and I just look at it and I look at him and I just laugh. And he's like, I know, right? And for like half an hour, I was just giggling about it. So it's coming and it will be funny. If it's not, break his legs. I don't care. Well, if it's not, just stop giving us money. <laughs> it's a real fucking simple process. Like, that's what I like about this kind of very direct capitalism. It's lovely. You know, I like you here. Have some money. All right, you're getting boring. I'm going to move my money somewhere else. That's... That's fucking, you know, that's the fucking promise that we were given fucking years ago about fucking capitalism was like, ah, it's good. You get to fucking have options and you get to choose. And entertainment products are the absolute fucking kings of this bullshit because at any given point, you can just go, fuck you. Are you not entertained? Yeah, and then you can give that $2 to a bum or something, you know, (laughs) as opposed to other ass bums. Mm. More of a beach bum. But in the grand scheme of things... Sand cheek in Australian. $2 is not much. Like... You go to a candy machine. That's and you yeah. That's a the thing. cap. To a candy that. machine, even three dollars fifty yeah. for a candy bar. We're less than candy bar. Yeah, we're less, we're less than candy. <laughs> Twice as sweet. Mm-hmm. You got anything else there? Um, I got about six thousand words of a thing about like the difference between critique and review coming up. Cool. So, if you've ever wondered why most of the internet's retarded, it's because. People don't understand that there's an actual difference between things. Yeah. So you've essentially got people screaming at each other over apples and oranges as opposed to agreeing first on what's being discussed. And I think that'd be a... That'd go some way. A lot of what I do is about talking to the people... Talking to people about what they can do. Mm. So, I, you know, I largely don't care about, about complaining about situations. I prefer to, like, sort of change people on an individual level. Mm. Cool. So I'm going to use all my powers as a teacher and... St- sergeant in the army of christ to slowly repair and unfuck an internet of billions one moron at a time bless cool so you can find the links to the patreon will be on in the description below um like there's links all over my twitter and everything and it's on the website i don't have any links on my things just because i just find it a little bit gauche but it's on mine just go to mine but yeah, keepitclassy.com is going to be the hub for everything. You'll be able to find links to the video, Patreon, Twitch. It's all going to be on there. So keep that page bookmarked. It should work on mobile devices too. It should shrink down and format properly if I've done everything correctly. If not, I'll just tinker with it more. But it will get there. Slowly but surely. Rudy Tootie. Thanks, phone.